exemple. Si vous êtes malade, vous ne pouvez pas aller. Vous ne pouvez pas aller. Vous gratis. Vous faites examen pour les gratis. Et puis, vous avez des médicaments. Si vous êtes hospitalisé, vous hospitalisé, vous hospitalisé, vous êtes bon, vous êtes exéaté. avec santé en quelque sorte. Ça veut dire son zone côté qui gagne des monde nettement défavorisé, on bien garder dans la commune Cité Soleil. On a passé de un stade de un centre à un hôpital, mais effectivement, pas gagner assez de possibilités. Mais la goûte, et depuis un an, pour nous, c'est une possibilité, c'est une tâche de bailleurs, c'est une tâche de monde qui est capable d'aider nous, pour nous capables de la population en service, parce que la population est vraiment nécessaire. Et puis l'autre, nous avons besoin de matériel pour du anesthésie, nous avons besoin de l'autre moniteur, nous avons besoin de l'autre bagaille pour nous équiper l'autre deux salles. Certainement, nous sommes capables de dire nous avons quitté une salle pour maternité seulement, et nous sommes capables de faire une salle pour chirurgie, et nous sommes capables de faire une salle encore pour petite chirurgie. See Genty back at it again, and, and this is a real special episode. We found ourselves in what arguably folks call one of the most dangerous neighborhoods in Haiti, City de Soleil, in the commune of City de Soleil. And what we're doing right now, this hospital that's behind me, is the reason why we made the trek. We decided to come into this community, Saint de l'Hôpitalier. De Fontaine. And this hospital has been in the community for decades, impacting, saving lives. And, and it really is an honor for, for me to get a chance to show you the impact, show you the work that the, the incredible doctors have been doing in here, the incredible nurses, the staff. And Joe's Ulysse has been doing here uh, uh, in the community. It's been really something he's been fighting and pushing to keep the lights on keep the uh, drugs flowing, keep the folks alive. And we're gonna talk to him, he's gonna, he's gonna come on camera, we're gonna have a conversation with him. But really the point of this is really to show you that even in what is considered, can be considered the, the most dangerous, the most poor part of Haiti, there's still impact players, there's still folks who aren't taking, aren't accepting the, the status quo. And no matter what you're hearing and what you, what you may feel about the insecurity of the country, there's still, ways for folks to move forward and folks to move forward in the most impactful way and it's really always starts with the people the person who decides we're going to persevere we're going to do what it takes so this story guys is it's really it's really that's not the building it's the people and i'm gonna do something i never never do which is at the end of this episode see how we can support something like this because it's really on us you know if we can't physically be here to impact it's gonna be on us to see what we can do monetarily to keep an incredible operation like this up and going. Don't change, we got lots to show. I'm Arnaud Kensky. Et mon maman de moi habite presque dans zone nord de l'hôpital Fontaine c'est là nous toujours venir mais son j'ai première fois m'ta venir là m'étais vraiment scared parce que yo toujours a répété zone dans comme zone de non droit mais l'aime venir là moi c'est autrement moi l'hôpital là bien marché me sous un paquet de voyage là depuis n'a venir vacciner bébé là donc moi accueil là bien chaleureux et bon moi recevoir bien gros m'ka dire recevoir bien en tant que une zone qui y a pas mauvaise réputation moi un paquet de monde qui là pour servir ou qui pour la population service dans l'hôpital là, c'est un plaisir pour continuer à venir dans l'hôpital là, pour tout la fonctionner. Moi, c'est 
été pêche dans chez Guido, si moi j'ai 27 ans. Ça, ça a vraiment utile moi dans ce sens parce que pendant que je fais mon mieux là, je me dit que dernièrement, quand je suis venu à problème, je obligé de courir là parce que je suis venu à la Je obligé de courir là, ça a été de me gérer pour le bébé là. Et en plus de ça, je me suis dit financièrement, ça a aidé nous parce que le bébé n'est pas si cher que ça. Nous avons dit que ça, ça, ça c'est un moyen qui a aidé en plus. Nous connaissons que les gens qui vivent dans l'environnement, ce n'est pas des gens qui. Qui te croit moi même parce que ça a vraiment aidé mon travail dans ce secteur. Et ceci, grand pile service, grand pile l'autre service pour que nous cachions. Parce que je me rappelle que je me suis enceinte, je me suis un gynécologue là. Mais c'est que tout ça a réussi une population qui a fait. We had a chance to go through the hospital. It's been quite the experience to kind of get a sense of what's here and the impact that they're, they're doing. Uh, but we can't go any further without having an opportunity to speak with Jose Ulis. He is the man, the visionary, the person who's really wheeled this place into existence. It's his 30 plus years ago. It, it, was, it, was, it was him with this idea, and he's been fighting ever since. Jules, thank you so much for allowing us to be here. How are you? I think that you know what happened. You want me to speak in English? You got my language, you know. Was I can try to say something oh. very short. First off, you sound great. Number one, don't, 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 you have, you're too confident of a man to to, to, okay. not, to doubt yourself. Your English is fine, but no, I'm sure. No, say what you can. It's okay. Okay. Uh, I'm Ulysse Jose. I was born in Quebec, Saint Haiti, in the north of the country. Uh, I I make all my studies in the north, and after I come to Port West, capital. For priest studies, because I was in the Grand Seminaire, I tried to be a priest, you know, but halfway I have to leave and go back to support my family and still wanted to be an impact, you still wanted to do positive, yeah. I think yeah. that's why you went yeah. to different situations. All, all my youth, you know, I work in social, social work. And I take that for my father this night. And this is one of the reasons why I have the platform. It encouraged me so much to know that there's impact players like yourself who are doing things, you know, for so long. Uh, and you guys need to be recognized. You guys, first, people like you need to understand that, you know, you, you're really providing, even myself, incredible encouragement. Because a lot of times, if it wasn't for CGNC, it wasn't for what I'm doing, I wouldn't see the positive. I wouldn't see the, the aspect. So that's why CGNC exists. So folks can really get exposure and, and really understand, you know, there's there's really positive folks doing great work. So the, the other thing, so tell us about the hospital. How many rooms are here? What what are the what's the equipment? What's the and then how, what's the history as well? The story we start in '93 after the coup d'état. We try to get a place where we can help people, and we were three friends. We decide to go in a place where we can work, we can help people, you know, to grow. City Soleil. We come in City Soleil and we start something. We start in the hospital. A little big, uh, it's not the work, I can say hospital, it was like a clinic. A little uh, clinic. Uh, this was the first building, right? No, that's the first building, but we start okay. in a, only one room. Oh, one room. Okay. Only one room. Yeah. And we could receive four to ten people a day. Mm. But uh, day after day, week after week, year after week, year after year, you know, we feel the need to build something. And we start with this building. After ten years, we see that this building cannot support what we plan to do. And we start building the other building. And today we have more than 60 beds and we are going to continue the construction and we want to get 200 beds yeah. in the hospital. That would be great. It, it, the only place where people in this area can come. Yeah. Even there is trouble in the country, we Still are open. always open because we are deeply 
in the community. Yeah. They appreciate People, you, no matter yeah. who they you, are, the good, you, the bad, you, they you, appreciate you. the hospital is yeah. the community. And then you know that it's not a business. Because every day we have to make things with negation. People come without nothing, without one pay, one cent, and we have to, to give the, 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 the service, you know. And it's what is very hard for us, you know, to to get a way to survive. And I think that you give us an opportunity to explain our fight, daily fight, and people can see how you can help us to continue the way. Uh, how many beds? 60 beds? What else do you offer? Your maternity? And we have maternity, we have a pediatry, we have a sonography, we have radiography, we have a laboratory, we have a pharmacy, you know, we have all the beds yeah. in order to be, to get the, the paper from the ministry to be an hospital. We have the beds. Yeah. But we have a lot of a lot needs, of needs too. Yeah. I'm the Miss Jean Jacques. Um, my travail is in the hospital depuis ça fait bien deux ans. Là, il y en a un qui est favorite. La première chose, type de monde qui m'a poussé voir, c'est des monde qui a fait pour moi. Donc, et à mesure et que avec moi et que nous gagnons, même les revenus, donc nous pour nous répondre à besoin. Mais le plus souvent, on peut nous les revenus. Donc, il y a toujours Manque moyen pour la répondre avec tout le monde en construction, donc pour la répondre avec les médicaments que vous avez pu acheter. Miss Sénévi Sénéchal Dousbine, infirmière en salle d'opération. Nous avons besoin de matériel, de médicaments qui pour aider les patients. Les gens qui ne pas gagner, les consalaires ont venu pour ne pas trop souffrir, pour nous capables de les Dr Jean-Baptiste Rubens, il a 32 ans, il a une spécialité en médecine communautaire. Nous avons besoin d'augmenter la capacité personnelle, nous avons besoin d'un bus pour transport passager. passagers. Et puis ensuite, en ce qui a trait avec les médicaments, nous avons besoin d'une base de médicaments qui est toujours actualisée. Je vais vous donner aide, vous avez mieux pour nous, et vous pouvez répondre avec les besoins que vous avez besoin vraiment important parce que surtout j'aime te dire que le Cité Soleil c'est des gens qui ont plus de monde qui pas de moyens là dans tout. Si on toujours pensé avec aider les gens, on pense que les gens qui ont suivi là, tout y a plus de monde qui qui vraiment dans la nécessité. Je pense que l'État est vraiment important pour continuer, mais si tout le monde qui a gagné sous cœur pour aider les gens, on pense que c'est vraiment important parce que y a vraiment besoin de ça. Pour moi, je pense que ça qui a fait dans l'hôpital Fontaine, c'est que toute zone qui a fait le même mouvement, son gros bagage. Oui, mon yo risquer la vie yo. On a parlé des emplois à l'hôpital là, des mon cap bas service dans l'hôpital là. Oui, mon yo yo pas peur rien. Yo yo à tout ça qui a répété des autres là. Yo yo là bas mon service chaque jour. We don't have lot, but they give us what they can. But what we are looking for now is a support in order to help us to to function every day without. Is it, is, it just, is it money, donations, or is it, I mean, can they No matter what, you can, yeah. you can help. You can give money, you can give equipment. equipment? Okay. We are looking now for a ambulance. Ambulance, yeah. If somebody, a group can help us to get an ambulance, yeah. it will be great. We are looking for a bus for the transportation of the employees, yeah. you know. And if we have equipment, if we have economical support, you know, it's all, everything is welcome because yeah. we have all the needs right yeah. now, yeah. you know? Yeah, we're saving lots. Yeah, yeah we try to save lots. Yeah. And every day we pray the Lord, we help people live a little bit longer. Yeah, and I tell you, we're going to have information below in the description of the video and, and below here in terms of the website. And, and yeah, because we have, we, have, we have a foundation, we can put all the yeah. information. Yeah, we will. Yeah. Okay. Listen, uh, Jules, I want to thank you so much. You make me so speak much. English, you know, it's not my language. I told you for <laughs> that. And before. it didn't sound great, right, guys? 
Listen, I want to thank you so much, Joe. Okay. Bit. We had a chance to talk with patients, with doctors, with nurses, with specialists, and I can tell you it's a great pleasure that I was able to show you guys the impact the work that this hospital is doing. I had a chance to speak with Jose Ulis and, uh, and his vision and his impact to put this place together almost willfully, single handedly, a uh, will powering through, uh, as you can imagine, one of the Dope, most dangerous, most difficult places in a difficult country. Uh, and, and so hats off to uh, Joe's and his efforts. But really now I'm passing the ball back to you guys. I'm passing the ball back to my audience to say, what can we do? What can we do to help impact and be a part of the solution rather than to complain about X, Y, and Z not doing their roles? What can we do, right? And so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna leave my, the info for the foundation for the hospital below. I'm gonna challenge you guys to go ahead and see what you guys can do. See how we can impact together to be part of something great and grand and really help the most, those most in need of help in a way that is, that is sustainable. A hospital that, that has uh, uh, yeah, has shared investment is something that's gonna help generations to come. So whatever you provide, if it's your time, reach out and contact them. And next time you're in Haiti, you're on a tour. If it's equipment, you have equipment in Haiti you wanna bring and send it over to them, they will take it. And ultimately, if it's money, yes, any penny will help. Listen guys, I wanna appreciate what, you, what, we, what, we guys, what we have going on here. Uh, if you like this stuff, hit that subscribe, hit that like, right? We're not just showing you the, 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 the upper mountain, upper nice, you know, high life. We're showing you, even when we go to tough areas, it's not to show the filth, not to show the, the, the misery, just to show that, hey, there's folks, Haitians, Haitians, who are doing some really great impactful stuff. So make sure you subscribe. We have so much more we've shown in the past and so much more we're gonna show. So don't miss any of it. Guys, as always, we'll be back at it again. We're back at it again.